Many are speculating that the terror attacks in Volgograd were specifically plans to target Russia ahead of the upcoming Winter Games in Sochi. It's not the first terror attack that's been linked to Olympic events. Back in July 2005, a series of suicide attacks hit London a day after it won the chance to host the Olympics. And for more on this, we can now talk to James Corbett, editor of the independent news website, uh, Corbett Report. Uh, James, welcome to RT. Very nice to talk to you right now. Do you think that all big international events like the upcoming Olympics in Sochi, uh, for instance, are a major attraction to terrorists? Well, of course, they do present an attractive target because the eyes of the world really are on whatever city happens to be hosting a big event like that. So we have to look at the these uh, current bombings in Volgograd as a potential um, spread, spreading and widening of the the troubles that have been taking place in the North Caucasus region. But I think what these back-to-back -back blasts really indicate is a uh, widening of that threat and expansion of it into a city that's beyond the, the North Caucasus region itself, where these types of terror attacks are more common at any rate, and into the that transport hub, which uh, really connects Russia to the rest of, uh, connects the North Caucasus to the rest of Russia. So I think this has to be seen as an Im implication, at least, of a uh, widening terror campaign. Uh, the July 2005 uh, London bombings also targeted the public transport system, like the attacks in Volgograd we're witnessing right now. Uh, what do those similarities tell us? Well, not a lot in and of themselves, because, of course, there are a lot of different um, uh, events that we could look at, including, of course, the 1980 uh, Bologna train bo uh, station bombing uh, back in Italy, which, of course, was linked to the Operation Gladio that was being run by NATO forces. And, in fact, it's a rather sad irony of this entire event that uh, the current uh, Secretary General of NATO, Anders Fogh Ra Rasmussen, has just taken to Twitter to give his condolences to the people of Russia on this tragedy, um, uh, being a particular uh, uh, sad irony because, of course, many of the Chechen rebels have been harbored uh, through EU political asylum in European uh, nations and in NATO uh, countries themselves, including uh, France and Poland and uh, Britain, where, of course, one of the former Chechen rebel leaders, Ahmed Zakiev, has been residing for a number of years now. So it is, uh, it's kind of ironic that that's, uh, that's happening. But I think this really has to get us to question what the, the real threat is and where it's really coming from. And in that regard, um, we cannot only only look at the current Chechen rebel leader Doku Umarov's um, promise to, to cause uh, disturbance ahead of the 2014 Sochi Olympics and, of course, at the Olympics themselves, but also a direct threat that was issued according to a leaked uh, report of a meeting between the current Saudi intelligence chief, uh, Bandar bin Sultan, better known as Bandar Bush, and Vladimir Putin back last July, where apparently, uh, according to these leaked reports, uh, Bandar bin Sultan directly threatened uh, Putin and Russia with expanded terror attacks if the uh, attack on Syria did not go ahead. And as we know, of course, Syrian military intervention was put off the table earlier this year, meaning that potentially this is sourcing back to the Saudis. Mm. Uh, in London, the attacks were carried out by Islamic radicals. Uh, in your opinion, is it the same case here in Volgograd? Well, of course, the Islamic radicals are the ones that t tend to carry out these attacks, but uh, the ones that are directing, funding, fostering and training them tend to be um, elsewhere, located elsewhere. And of course, we have, for example, the uh, the testimony of former FBI whistleblower Sibel Edmonds talking about Operation Gladio B. Uh, earlier this year, she was talking about how this uh, this operation was a NATO fund, is an ongoing NATO funded operation in cooperation with the Pentagon to stir up Islamic radical terrorism, specifically in that North Caucasus region and uh, and the surrounding area as a type of threat directed at Russia and, of course, at China as well, sitting right there on Russia's doorstep. So I think we have to see this in that context and as a potential larger geopolitical threat to Russia. So I do expect uh, that uh, anyone will claim responsibility for that tax anytime soon. Uh, I, I don't know if that will be coming, um, but at, at any rate, as we know, of course, these bombings are linked. We can tell that from the forensic evidence of the bombs themselves and the, the types of agents that were added to them. So there's no doubt that this is a part of a, uh, a terror message that's being delivered to Russia right now. And of course, the fact that the Sochi Olympics are right around the corner is obviously a key component of that message.